guys, it's Michael, a.k.a. Airi, with Angels of the Warp at angelsofthewarp.com with another product review. Uh, yes, with another peripheral. This one being the CM Storm by Cooler Master Trigger. Pew, pew. Um, that was really fucking lame, and I apologize. Anyway, this was a gift uh, from my best friend. I've been wanting a mechanical keyboard for a really, really long time. Uh, he jumped the gun, got it for my, my uh, birthday. So I'm happy. It's uh, definitely cool. Thumbs up. Definitely liking this keyboard so far. Thumbs up. Been using it for about a week. Uh, so I'd give you guys the specs of how sensitive it is, uh, how there's high durability, gold-plated cherry switches, rated for over 50 million keystrokes. I read that straight off the website. So Google is your friend. Go do a little bit of research. You're obviously, obviously doing just a little bit. I'll leave a link in the description for this, too, just so you guys can click. Go right there into specifications on this keyboard. But it's neat. It's mechanical. For those of you that aren't familiar with mechanical keyboards, um, basically the big premier thing about them is there's a lot more, I would call it, feedback. So I'm, I'm just going to type shit on here because you're not really going to understand it until you hear it. And even when you hear it, I don't even think you're really going to get it. But... Just to prove to you it's a mechanical keyboard, and you can go look it up. I don't know what these hand gestures are for, but we're just going to type uh, that this keyboard is fucking awesome, and I'm really glad that my friend got this for me. Exclamation mark. Happy face. Caps lock, fuck yeah. I didn't spell that right. Yeah. Cool. That's how mechanical keyboard types. When you're gaming, when you're typing, when you're just doing stuff in general, uh, the mechanical keyboard, I just, I like it. It's cool. Thumbs up. Uh, red backlit LED. You get all the standard buttons that you would the normal keyboard. You get your numpad, home, arrows, print screen, screen lock, all of your F, uh, F keys from 1 through one through 12. Sorry. Escape, tilde, blah, 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 blah. Now, the only really slight difference uh, for this on your left hand side, so you've got instead of F buttons, uh, and Logitech calls them G buttons, here on the Cooler Master they're M buttons. So you've got buttons M1 through 5. You can customize them to be, uh, to pretty much do any function you right. want. Macros for them, open programs, all that co sort of cool stuff. But the, you can customize different profiles. I believe there is, well, let me pull up the software. The software you can get online. Um, there's no CD that comes with it, no annoying CD that you have to update anyway. Really glad companies are starting to get a feel for that. Okay, so profiles, you've got uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so you got five. I just counted on my fingers like I was in fucking elementary school. All right, you got five profiles, and what's cool about these five profiles is you can quick switch them. So if I were to hold, by default, this is not a Windows key, it's a function key. If I were to hold this and hit two, three, whoop. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. This. Nope. Oh, oh boy. What am I doing? F1. No. Where'd it go? Cooler Master. Where are you? Why are you making me look like an asshole? What am I doing? What did I open? What did I just open? Oh. Alright. Uh, uh. Uh, no. Uh, uh, nope. Just dinging sounds. Okay. Okay. No. I'm gonna close this. Alright. We're gonna do this again. Uh, key. F keys. Nope. That's not it. That's Windows Help and Support. Don't need that. I swear to God it's in here somewhere. Uh, sorry. I'll figure it out. I'll put it later in the video. I swear to God it will. Thumbs up. But, and that's what's also nice. You can, uh, in the programming, you can go in and change any of these keys to do whatever you want. So, by default, this was the function key. Um, this is also a function key. On the top here, you've got a whole bunch of different options. As you can see under the F keys, you've got, uh, ways to change. Whoops. Wait, how do I keep doing that? Ways to change, uh, how it's backlit. You've got your uh, quick buttons for music, uh, play, pause, stop, back, forward. Then you've got your volume control, mute, uh, quieter, louder. Goes up to, ah, I see what they did. Goes up to 11, F11. Yeah, guitarist will uh, get that joke, sorry. All right, there we go, yeah, fuck yeah. All right, yeah, it's because I had the software open. Okay, note, note to self, note to all of you. The software is open. It doesn't want to work with me. All right, so hold the function button. You go to backlit mode. You can turn it off. You can turn it on. You can dim it down. You can calm it down, or you can get hypey with this shit. And this, I like this. I never use it, but it's just fucking cool. It's mode, and it goes boop. 
Bring it down. Boop. Oh, what's up with that? I should probably turn off my lights for this, but there you go. WASD, function keys, that key, and then your arrow keys along with that. That's all that's backlit. So if those are the only buttons you use, WASD and the arrows, and that's all you really need to see, then uh, it's cool shit. But other than that, I like to keep my shit crazy fucking backlit going ape shit. This is detachable. You can take this off here. I'll, I'll even, I will show you. See? There you go. It takes off. Um, but yeah, I, oh, it's got a nice matte finish, so for those of you that watched my last, uh, product review, my only other product review on the Rat 7 versus MMO, you can see here, got my MMO 7, which is nice and rat finished, or not rat finished, uh, nice and matte finished, and then I've got this keyboard now, which is nice and matte finished, and they're both backlit red, it's awesome! So, uh, yeah, now I gotta get more stuff that's backlit red. I would have liked backlit green or backlit blue. Oh, backlit purple would be fucking sexy. But you know what? For some reason, everything's in red or blue. Oh, well. Thumbs up. Anyway. CM Storm by Cooler Master Trigger. This is the trigger. They've got a couple others. I think they're called like Quick Fire and other witty things like that. But this uh, suits my needs. It's perfect. It's a mechanical keyboard that's backlit. And I just fucking whiz by when I'm typing out emails. Or I whiz by when I'm shooting people in the face in Battlefield. Or I whiz by when I'm in the extreme game uh, known as Minecraft. So, that's about it, guys. Um, I w oh, you know what? Yeah, that's right. I promised I would do this. Okay, there you go. Hold the function key, hit the number button. There you go. That blinking means that it's switching profiles. Oops. There you go. Take it off. There you go. Profile 2. Profile 3. Profile 4, Profile 5, Profile... Oh, were you paying attention? There's only five profiles. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that flashing just indicates that it's toggling between. If you guys have any questions or comments, or you're just curious about certain things with this, like I said, I've had this for about a week, uh, a week now. So I'm still fairly new to it. Normally I try to wait at least a month before telling anybody about a product. But I just fucking love my mechanical keyboard and I had to show it off. So... Got any questions, got any comments uh, about anything on this, I will answer it as best as I can, or I'll look it up for you, because Google's your friend, and I'm not afraid to do a little bit of research, but if you don't like my answer, uh, fuck you, I did your research for you, so you're going to take my answer and shove it down your throat. That's it, so don't forget to check us out at uh, angelsofthewarp.com. Once again, my name is Arai. Yeah. Thumbs up.